And now the story of a wealthy family who lost everything and the one son who had no choice but to keep them all together. It's Game of Thrones. Ever since the head of the Stark family had lost his, Rob Stark had been doing his best to keep the family safe and together. So far, his sister Sansa was trapped in a castle being whipped like a dog, and his other sister, Arya, was being held captive by one. And his younger brothers, Bronn and Rickon, are gone. All in all, it wasn't a great start for the man who called himself King of the North. I'm asking your advice. That's why, following the advice of his mother, Rob ordered his uncle to marry one of the daughters of this man, Walder Frey. Mr. F. The wedding would unite the Stark family with the ever-increasing Frey clan, giving Rob an even larger family to keep together. But more on that later. Well, let's get ready. The wine will flow red, and the music will play loud, and we'll put this mess behind us. While Rob was making peace with Walder, even though he was afraid, his sister Arya was busy convincing her captor that she wasn't afraid. I'm not afraid. She was. Afraid that she wouldn't make it to the wedding on time and get the family reunion she'd traveled hundreds of miles to get. Someday. I'm gonna put a sword through your eye and out the back of your skull. Hey, what you trying to say? She just had a funny way of showing it. All you need is fun. Ed Murtulli and Walder Frey's daughter had gotten hitched without a hitch. Rob's mother was smiling, his wife was glowing, and for the first time in a long time, things didn't look quite so bleak for the Starks. Even Lord Frey seemed happy. And then, things got ugly. Well, uglier. After the bride and groom bolted, the door to the room was bolted, at which point Lady Stark noticed Roose Bolton was hiding armor beneath his wedding clothes. Even Rob had to admit that perhaps he had made a terrible mistake. Perhaps I've made a terrible mistake. It turns out that Walter Frey's promise of peace was just a ruse. Not that kind of ruse, though he did play a part. The Lannisters and their regards. Roose Bolton murdered Rob Stark, all under the orders of this man, Tywin Lannister, who had made sure the whole thing went off without a hitch, all the way from the hand of the King's Lair. Meanwhile, the hand of the King's Slayer had also gone off. On the next Game of Thrones, a boy cries wolf. Wolves are out there. And a wolf just cries. Boy, it seemed unnecessary. Speaking of crying. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. commenters that are like, where's Swaim? Or, hey, how's the sketches? I have a life, all right? I can't be in every single video. I don't know if I'm in the video you just watched, but even if I wasn't, it's got my fucking fingerprints all over it, all right? So just sit there and shut up and subscribe to the channel and stop asking questions that, frankly, you don't want to know the answer to. Africa. I was in Africa. That's all I'm going to say.